my channel if this is your first time here my name is Quisha today I'm doing a get ready with me video I have some new makeup and I have somewhere to be today so let's get into it so I've already done my brows because I don't have any new brow products to talk about I did get my boxy charm for July I just didn't film it my bad y'all so I'm gonna be using some of the items that I got in my July boxy charm and I have some other new stuff to talk about so I'm really excited so first off one of the items that I got in my boxy charm is this Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. I'm going to use that to moisturize my face because I did just wash my face, but I haven't put on any moisturizer. This is odorless, so we love that. Don't mind my hair. It will get dealt with at the end of the video. How y'all doing? Y'all all right? Ooh, y'all know I'm nervous or whatever. I haven't done a get ready with me in a minute. So I'm going to the party, y'all. I'm going to a little, a little gathering to celebrate love. Oh, I like this moisturizer. It feels nice. So I'm keeping my makeup super simple because um, I don't want to do too much. <laughs> y'all know it's more the, the makeup style of today. It has already changed. So it's not like cut creases and dramatic looks. Of course, it's still those kind of looks, but it's more of like the softer, more natural kind of look, which I love. I like both. And I really appreciate the more softer kind of looks anyway, because um, they're quicker to do. So you know what I'm saying? Get myself in the mood. I'm drinking some rose water. I got it from Trader Joe's last night. It's good. It tastes like a really light sparkling rosé. It's like sparkling water mixed with rosé. It's cute. It's nice and light just to get me a little... I'm pretty sure it's going to be alcohol at this party. And I haven't been drinking lately, so I'm a little nervous. Next up, let's do the eyes. Very simple. I got this Natasha Denona. I believe this is called... Okay, this is the Natasha Denona Cupid Palette. So pretty. It's giving Valentine's Day. You know, very much love. Perfect occasion. I'm only going to use... I'm not going to use this red because my outfit is black and white and... Nah. So I'm just going to use this. These four shades. Use a little bit of concealer on the lid. This is Tarte Shape Tape. Y'all know the deal. What's been going on with y'all? What's what's tea like if my lighting is going in and out i'm trying to use a little bit of natural light and yeah it's going a little in and out so i'm sorry about that but i can't get up to change it at the moment and it is gonna be what it's gonna be you know i feel like what do y'all think i feel like another lockdown is coming i welcome it the introvert in me very much welcomes it and also just to get ahead of it so it's not as bad as covid the whole monkey pox situation I ain't gonna talk about it too much because I don't know all that much about it. I just know that I wear a mask everywhere I go again because it's not, it's not cute from the pictures I've seen on the internet, okay? And I saw an interesting take on it. I think it was on Shade Room or something where they said people might take pox a little bit more seriously than they did but because pox affects your visual appearance whereas but you kind of look the same and people care so much about how they look. What do y'all think about that? How do y'all feel about that? I believe that. These shades are gorgeous. This palette makes me feel stupid because I don't know, <laughs> like, I don't know which shades are which. Like, I can tell which one's the middle, but is this the right way? Like, is it? All right, so I'm gonna go in. The, I'm gonna go in the crease with the shade Nude Vino. I believe that's this shade right here. So Y'all just be safe out there. You know, wear a mask, protect yourself at all costs. I'm an introvert, so I would really appreciate the break and having to, <laughs> I would really appreciate the break and like commitments, having to go out every weekend. Like this weekend, y'all aren't trying to go nowhere. I'm going somewhere tonight and I'm going somewhere tomorrow. <laughs> like what? I'm tired. I thrive in a lockdown. It's where I shine. It's my time to perform. It's, it's what I do. Been like that my whole life, you know? Never really been a super social person be outside a little bit though i'll be out a little bit but it's starting it's been getting a little too social for me lately okay it's too much that rose water could definitely use a little bit more flavor it's giving very much like alcoholic lacroix very much kind of like white claw teas you know i definitely want to try what are they calling it these days it's a smoky wing like a cat eye right but well for what are they what's the new term for it child i already forgot never mind because <laughs> i don't know what it's called okay Oh, siren eye, child. It's just a cat eye 
or in my opinion, like a smoky wing. Maybe I'll do one tomorrow. Mm, I don't know y'all, I'm lying. I'm already lying. One of the makeup products that I have to try here is definitely influenced by TikTok. So yeah, TikTok has really been that girl lately when it comes to makeup suggestions and stuff. I've definitely got quite a few products off TikTok. Um, I'm trying to think, have any of them disappointed me? No, actually. So the one that I thought was going to disappoint me was the MAC Stack Mascara. But y'all, and I told myself, oh, I'm not going to buy this again. It's a $30 mascara, but it's definitely one of my favorite mascaras now. <sighs> I can't believe it. At first I was like, oh, it's not that impressive. But the more and more I use it, the more I'm like, this is a really, really good mascara. Like TikTok is done in the game. Next, I want to take this shade Shell. It looks a lot brighter on camera than it really does. It's more, it's really like a, like a muted brown color. I'm gonna take that and put that like into my brow bone a little bit, not too much though. Oh, hold on, not a lot at all. It's, it's giving ashy. Okay, so that's not for my skin tone. <laughs> not in the brow bone anyway. No ma'am and say y'all. Also y'all, I'm really not trying to be outside cause this flow of the heat y'all is like 98 degrees someday, 98 degrees. Um, but like for real though it's been like super hot like I'm talking about as soon as you step out the door you sweat all right I'm gonna take this shade oxide really pretty metallic shade let's put this right here on the lid Ooh, that's pretty oh that color is gorge so yeah super simple eye look nothing crazy y'all know Natasha Denona palettes are great I do feel that they're a little bit overpriced I believe this palette is like $48 like girl, what mm -mm. Like $48, no name as hell, but you know, I get it in Boxy Charm, so I'm cool with it, I'm cool. But I would never pay $48 for this little thing, no way. I can't even really use this shade, like what I'm gonna do? Like it's not enough. It's pretty, the pigment's there, the colors are gorgeous, and very easy to blend. I mean, except for that one shade, but I could use that for something else. Like if I was gonna do an all matte look, I would, I would have put it on my lid. Just kind of blended it into the crease with a darker shade. I think I will just do like a smoky wing tonight. Anytime I need a quick black shadow, I always know to grab any Anastasia palette, them blacks gonna hit, okay? So I'm just using my favorite, y'all can tell she's crusty and dusty. <laughs> my favorite palette, the Soft Glam palette, and I'm gonna just gonna use the shade Noir and we're gonna do like a smoky wing today. So I'm just gonna take the black very lightly and first I'm just gonna draw a line Give me a little detail across the bottom. And I want this to be very soft. I don't want to be too harsh. Otherwise, I would have went in with the pencil or with the eyeliner pen first. But I want it to be pretty, like a soft wing. And I'm just going to take this, angle this up towards my brow. And then we're just going to do the wing. I have a little bit down here, but I can clean that up in a minute. Again, this is why I always do my eyes first. I'm a messy girl. I'm actually gonna put bring this out a little bit more. I don't want it to go quite towards my brow. Ooh, my contacts getting dry, child. Just like that. Not it thundering, child. For what? Okay, now we're gonna clean up this wing just a little bit. Just gonna take it up a little bit. Kind of smoke it out like smoky, 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 you know? And of course, I'm going to use this when I get concealer. We'll clean that up even more. Not it thunder right now. Is it going to rain? I got to check the weather because my hair. Y'all did a flexi rod set. I did another one. Don't worry about it right now. I'm going to like fluff it out and stuff. But I promise I'm going to film my next flexi rod set for y'all because I think I got it down. All right, let's do this other wing real quick. <sighs> what else has been going on? Oh, Love Island UK finished. I'm happy with the winners. If you're still watching Love Island UK, check below for timestamps. Talk about it for like a minute or two. Listen, I would have been happy as long as Gemma and Luca didn't win. Nothing against Gemma Wall. She started acting kind of stank towards the end of the season, but because I really liked her at first, but she kind of started acting, mm, I wasn't really here for it. And Luca all crying behind like, child, once she watches the show, they're going to break up because he was doing too much, like, bruh, chill. I wish that India and Dammy would have got second place, but because of Dammy's ratchet behavior, that was never gonna happen. I just also didn't want Luca and Gemma to get second place, which they did. So happy that Davide and Ekansu won. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. 
Ekin Sue is going to be up there with one of the best Love Island contestants there has ever been. Like, she is one of the goats. Like, she came in there. She caused a stir. She did what needed to be done. She brought the drama. She made the show watchable again. Like, she brought so much to the show this season. And they have to thank her for that, okay? Because without Ek and Sue, it wouldn't have been watchable. Like, at all. See, why do I like this wing better than I like this one? I think it's because this one is up too high. I'll try to fix it later. I don't like how high it is. And her and Davide, they had, I think they are really going to last. I don't know if they're going to get married or nothing, but I definitely think they're going to last quite a while um, on the outside. Indy and Dammy, I hope they do, but then again, I don't know. I feel like India can do a little bit better than him, but they seem to be on good terms. Like, they seem to be doing really well, so I guess. Tasha and Andrew, I wish, so here's the order I wish would have happened. My dream would have been Dammy and India number one, but because Dammy was acting a fool in Castle of More, I'm gonna go ahead and put them at number two. I definitely wanted Ekansu and Davide to win, and they did, so I was happy about that. I wanted Tasha and Andrew or India and Dammy to come in second place. That didn't happen. Luca and Gemma came in second place. Like, sis, how? The fuck? Dammy and India were third, and Tasha and Andrew were fourth. Like, it. I just, I'm not here for Luca. He was crying the whole time, so jealous of everybody, just so like negative. Mm -mm. Like I was talking about earlier, this is the Max Stack mascara. So I'm gonna watch the reunion this weekend. I don't know if I want to though. Like I just cannot stand watching Luca. Like he is so, and I hate his teeth. Like, ugh. India, I hope she gets everything good that's coming to her. She is so beautiful. Her makeup was beat slate to the gods every day. Sis, drop the makeup routine, please. Give us a routine. Give us a tutorial, please. Makeup was flawless, baby. <laughs> Danica, oh, loved me some Danica. At first, I was like, I wasn't feeling her too much, but as the time as time went on, she just became more and more lovable. Like her personality was so cute. She was so bubbly. Sis could dance. She's gorgeous. I really hope she finds love. I don't know if it's gonna work out with her. And what's his name, Josh? I don't know, but she deserves the best. Love me some Danica, bro. She was killing it, okay? Okay, so I fixed filming a little bit. I just used the makeup wipe and just like, you know? So yeah, so that's my little Love Island rant. I'm, I miss it already, but I'm also kind of glad it's over. Y'all know Love Island's like 50 episodes or something like that. Yeah, it was a good season. Definitely better than the last two. Like I say, y'all, I'm gonna say it again. If you want to start watching Love Island UK, I don't, I don't mess with US. If you want to start watching Love Island UK, it is on Hulu. I say start with seasons three, four, or five. And if you enjoy yourself, go back to season one to see how crazy it used to be. You know, so season one and two, but definitely start season three, four, or five. I say those are like the best seasons in my opinion. Um, and this last season, season eight, I don't know if the whole thing is on Hulu yet, but it will be eventually. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna watch Love Island US, I just, it's always, it's nothing like UK, it's so boring. Maybe I'll watch it like in the winter time or something when I'm bored and I'm just like fiending for Love Island. I do get those little, I do be craving Love Island, bro. I'm gonna use a very little bit of primer because I have a new product to use. So I'm gonna use the Tatcha Silk Canvas just a little bit because I don't know that I need that much. I'm so sorry that the light keeps going in and out, y'all, but this is what happens when you use natural light, you know? These are the consequences of my actions. Let's get these lashes on real quick. So I've been loving these lashes. I gotta get another pair of these. I actually got these from BoxyCharm. They, I don't know what happened, but they gave me a credit for like $15 and I grabbed these lashes and something else. Um, I don't know why they gave me a credit, but they did. Probably overcharged me for something I didn't realize it, but um, these are the la MAC lashes in the style Seductress. I have been, I love how they start off like, see how they are like little and then they go out. I really like that, especially with this kind of an eye look. Look at all these Natasha Denona palettes I have. Is this ridiculous? Three out of the four of these are from BoxyCharm. Cause this one I got out of Sephora and it was only $25. So that's why I didn't feel too bad about buying this one. But these other three are from BoxyCharm. Like look at how perfect these lashes are for this look. They just go up and out. Oh y'all, I'm in love. I just feel they really suit my eye shape too. Anyway, y'all finna rain, oh my gosh. We can't just have one day without rain, you know? 
and it's messing up my lighting. Y'all, please ignore my phone right here. Whatever, I'm gonna talk to y'all in a second, okay? I picked up the ELF Halo Glow. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I've already done this side of my face for TikTok, so I'm gonna do the other side for you guys. It's supposed to give you that glow from within look, and as you can tell, I'm glowing, y'all. I love it, and the shade is perfect. While it looks a little bit, I hope my lights aren't too dark. So while it looks a little bit red here, e.l.f. says that it's gonna adapt to your skin tone, so it, y'all, it just blended right in. It's so crazy. I thought it was gonna be a little bit too red, but e.l.f. says it adapts to your skin tone, and it absolutely did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it for y'all on the other side of my face. See, look how it looks when you first put it on. So this can be worn alone or under foundation. I'm going to be wearing mine under foundation. I want a little bit more coverage tonight, but it's supposed to give you that glow from within. How is e.l.f. so good at the dupe game? Like how are they, is this illegal? I'm just gonna blend this out. This is the Morphe Filter Effect brush. Goes right into the skin, y'all. Oh my, it's gorgeous. I could, I could definitely get away with wearing this by itself. I'm definitely gonna wear this like on days, you know, it's like a no makeup makeup kind of day or you just running out and you don't wanna do a full face. Like y'all, it just gives you that glow. And this is only $14 compared to the Charlotte Tilbury, which is $44. I couldn't get my hand on the Charlotte Tilbury because it's always sold out. It is that popular. My shade is always sold out. A lot of the shades are always sold out. So Elf said, say less sis now the elf one is sold out too i had to get on a waiting list for this one but i believe they're still in stock right now right now they're online only but as of august 14th they're going to be exclusively sold in target y'all look at my face look at my face like this could be it this could be the look am i like too dark hold on it could just be like this like what do you mean look at elf cat Let's put on some foundation, y'all. This is the Pat McGrath Sublime in Medium Deep 26. Please ignore my phone. I'm multitasking here, okay? I'm a working woman. Y'all, look at that. Look at that. I mean, baby, what? Oh, she's glowing from within. For concealer, I have used this already, but I haven't used it in a video yet. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer, and I use the shade 4.5N. The first couple of times I used this concealer, I really, really liked it, but I used it the other day, and it started, like, creasing. I'm not sure what that's about, but I also saw on TikTok that if you apply your concealer with a brush, which I don't do, but I'm about to start, that it helps a lot with creasing and stuff like that, so... Let's do it. I've had this Real Techniques concealer brush for almost a year now and I'm just now using it. Y'all don't judge me. Let's use this concealer and this shade is perfect for me. I love the big old applicator and I love the coverage. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Shape Tape but it's not as thick. That Pat McGrath foundation is a little red on me. Y'all know I've been struggling with my foundation shade recently and I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on y'all. So we let the concealer sit for a minute. My BoxyCharm for July also got this alley-oop. It's like a stack and it's called Cocktail Hour. So it comes with like a blush, a highlighter, and a contour. I'm not sure that this is gonna be a contour for me. I think it's gonna be more of a bronzer shade, but let's see what it do. I swatched them already for TikTok. Y'all follow me on TikTok, okay? I really be over there doing it, okay? So let's just see what this is. And this is cream. So let's see. This is definitely more of a bronzer shade for me, but it's working and it feels really nice. Okay, I like this. I would have liked a little bit of a darker shade so I can like really get in there and bronze and or contour. I love this formula. This formula is really nice. So what new makeup trends or products have y'all been loving lately? I'm not saying I'm gonna buy them because I'm supposed to be on a budget, but just let me know. What have y'all been into? Another product that I have not talked about yet on YouTube, but I've been using it to death, if you, is, if you can't tell, is the One Size Setting Powder. This is Patrick Star's brand, y'all. This is probably the best setting powder I've used in a very long time. I put it up there with the Beauty Bakery, which is one of my favorite setting powders. I have to mix both of these together. So I got uh, Dark, Deep, and Translucent. I mix them together and it's the perfect shade for me. It's giving filter, okay? Like, fake blurred perfection because the dark deep's a little too dark and the translucent y'all know about translucent okay so it kind of looks like that when i can y'all see ciao 
So it kind of looks like that when I mix it together. I know y'all can't really see, but you know what I mean. Mix them together. I use a little bit more translucent than I do the dark deep. All right, so let's get with this concealer. Let's kind of blend her out. This is such a nice concealer. I'm so mad I like it because it's so damn expensive. I got this with a gift card and now I'm like, well, now I gotta buy it with my own money. How dare you? See, this is why I started doing my makeup early because I'm not saying I'm late. Like I'm, I still have pretty much two hours, but um, I just be talking. Like I just be running my mouth, dog. Like girl, shut up. Can't, I can't be quiet. This is why I started YouTube, to run my mother mouth. Go in with this concealer brush. Again, this is from Real Techniques. I got this from, uh, Either Ulta or Target, y'all. Okay, I see why y'all like using brushes now. There's more control with the brush. I'm still going to use a sponge just to kind of go around the edges. But I do, I do like the brush. I do like it. Now I need another one. Because y'all know how long it takes me to wash my makeup brushes. And I only have one of these. We're going to go right in with the setting powder. Y'all watch this. Y'all look. Oh my God, y'all look. Is this real life? I know you see it. Y'all, look, look. So I will say the only time this concealer creased for me, y'all, when I tell you it was like hot, hot, it was a 98 degree hot day. And I don't, I didn't use that much setting powder cause I was just doing such a simple eye look. I was rushing my makeup. So maybe that was my issue because every other time I've used this concealer, I've loved it. And I definitely want to get the foundation soon, but that's going to be for another day, like far out, far out in the future. Like I think I might get it for my wedding makeup. I like the combo of the sponge and the brush. I ain't gonna lie. I like the control that the brush gives, but I like the blendability that the sponge gives. So we're gonna go right in with the setting powder. Setting, y'all know that setting my under eye is one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup. So like for my setting powder to look like this, like Patrick Star, why you had to do this like this? And I got the two travel sizes. Since I have to mix the two of them, mix them both together and you get one full size, you know? Yeah, what is the face giving? I love doing my makeup. So this cream blush, I don't know what the shade is called, but whatever. So I'm gonna use this cream blush. It's okay, it's very subtle if you, as you can see. I don't really see much. Okay, there it is. Okay, it's nice. I guess I couldn't see it in my mirror, but when I look on the camera, it's like, bitch, here I go. I heard you bitches was looking for me. Let's use the highlighter. I'm just gonna use my fingers. Oh, this is like powdery. So I'm just gonna use my fingers to just kinda, actually, you know, let me use a brush. I don't wanna use a lot. I'm not a, y'all, I don't know. Highlighter ain't really been my thing lately. You know, I've been just like a blush bronzer kinda gal. I'm also gonna use this for my inner eye highlight and a little bit on my nose. The color, is, this shade is very subtle. So I like that. Let's do MAC Chestnut. Okay, I have this Giorgio Armani lip sample. I've had it for a while, but this color right here is really cute. This is 202. So let's use that. Ooh. Oh, y'all already know this is right up my alley. This is too little for my big ass lips, okay? Oh, this is so comfortable. Oh, it's so creamy. Hey, me daddy. <laughs> Cause bitch, oh, y'all. Shut up right now. Y'all know this, it's a bit of me. It's a bit of me. Okay, how much is this? Cause this shade right here, y'all is so comfortable. Shade 202 adds to Sephora cart. All right, so this is the final look. What do y'all think? Do you like it? Am I cute? Okay, so y'all, I can't lie, I'm feeling very beat, okay? It's really giving. I hope my hair holds up in the humidity. I'm wearing a bonnet until I get to the destination. This e.l.f. Halo Glow stole the show. I am so impressed by this. 
this is too good love 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 this again i use the shade six also really like that Giorgio armani lipstick mm, it's so creamy it reminds me of the juvia's place lipsticks with that creaminess if you have those to kind of relate it that creaminess that the moisturizer really like that so far um i'll keep using that to see if it breaks me out or anything like that oh the concealer brush yes hands down i'm loving the way that my concealer looks the alley-oop the little stack i like it it's very okay i wouldn't repurchase it again because i would like for the bronzer contour shade to be a little bit deeper but the blush is really pigmented i like that the highlighter wasn't extremely pigmented it's kind of buildable so i really like that i don't know what else to say y'all i'm just like i'm feeling really beat i'm ready to go to the party well, i don't have anything else to say so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video thank you so much for getting ready with me if you like this video if you had a good time please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already be sure to follow me on tiktok instagram i'll be posting i'll be posting okay so yeah follow me on all my social media everything will be in the description box down below thank y'all so much and i will see you in the next video